Hey everyone, this video is going to show you how to use the purge tool in Moodle to help clean up the question bank in one of your courses. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm using the boost theme, so if you want to use that theme, it may be easier for you to follow along. To change to the boost theme, you can you click on your name, go to profile, edit your profile, change your theme to boost, and then yours will look like mine does. So here we go. Uh, once you're in boost, boost theme, you'll see this wheel right here you can click on. And you'll click on it, click on more, and you'll go down to categories. As you can see, we have a bunch of categories. Uh, we have 11 pages of categories uh, with, with questions in it. A lot of them are unneeded for this old course. So we're gonna clean it up. To start it off, we, we, we wanna have one new main category up top. So let's go ahead and create that category. Uh, I'm going to put it right here, and we're just going to call it main main category. You can call it something else, but I'm going to call it main category. Uh, it's not quite up top, so I'm going to move it over one and move it up. And so uh, we're going to we're going to keep these two categories up top. The rest we're going to make subcategories. They're going to be subcategories to this one, uh, and what that will do is, once we make all these subcategories and we delete, we use the when we use a purge tool, delete this one, it will delete all the questions in this category, and all the questions and all the and all the subcategories below it. But it will only delete the the questions that you are not using in a quiz. Uh, all the ones that are in quizzes will get moved to the main category that we just created. Uh, and they'll be called old questions, but they'll still work just fine. Uh, and I'll show you how to make them so they're not old questions anymore. Uh, so, but let's go ahead and get started. So we just need to make these all subcategories. And you'll be, do, be doing that by clicking the right arrow. Uh, and if we click right arrow, it refreshes each time. And it takes a second. This process is a little mundane. Uh, if you want to make it to go make it go a little faster, you can hold the control key down, and now it will. When I click on the right arrow key, it opens all of them in a new tab. But this allows me to pop down and do it much faster. The only downside is you have to delete the tabs, but you can do that in bulk real fast. And I'm going to click refresh. You can see all of these now are subcategories to this one. So we'll do a bunch more here. And like I said, I'm holding my control key down. It allows me to click on it a little bit faster. I don't have to wait for it to refresh. All right, if I refresh now, it will show, oh, it shows I missed a couple. Did I miss any more? I think that's good. I didn't do them all in the course, but I did quite a few. You can do them, I recommend doing them in batches. Uh, so once you have done, once you have made all these subcategories, if you go to the purge tool, and if you purge the category that's second down from the main category, it will now purge this category and all of the subcategories below it. So it's telling me uh, the category that I'm purging contains 47 categories, has 550 unused questions, and 137, 137 questions that it will now keep. Uh, and it's going to ask you where you want those questions to go, and we're going to choose main category. Confirm, purge. It will take a couple minutes, and then all those questions are now purged. And you can see you have less pages now. So uh, so within a pretty quick amount of time you can clean up all the old questions uh, and once you do that you can go back to the question bank, uh, click on the questions tab, and by once you clean up the whole course you're only gonna have one category left called main category. 
And with that, it's, uh, you have to make sure show old questions because if they're not being shown, it's going to look empty. But these old questions are the ones that are currently in quizzes right now that you tried to delete, but Moodle wouldn't let you. So it turned them into old questions. Uh, so I recommend what you do is click the restore button on all these. Uh, and the fastest way to do it is hold, hold down control and click on these one at a time. It's really not too bad. And kind of mundane, but you can zip through it pretty fast. And once you click refresh, uh, it will show that all these questions that you just clicked on now show up as normal questions. They're not old anymore. Um, so now you have all these extra tabs open. So when you're doing this process, once you get a bunch of tabs open, what I recommend is taking the, uh, the first one over here, clicking on the tab, dragging it down. So it's now in a whole separate window. Now you can go all the way, all the way over to the right and click on this X, and it'll delete all those tabs at once. Okay. So if you follow that process, you will have your course cleaned up uh, pretty fast using the purge tool. And then the only questions you'll have left in your course are the ones that you're currently using in quizzes. So uh, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know.